Well, if you're planning to call an Uber or Lyft or even order in dinner this Valentine's Day, listen up. Rideshare services are planning an all-day strike today. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is live near O'Hare Airport, where the protest rally is happening this morning. Good morning, Marissa. Uh, good morning to you both. Yeah, the strike will happen here, but could impact people trying to get here from the city. Now, this protest is being hosted by app workers it's a national coalition calling on 130,000 of their members to not work on valentine's day hoping to send a message now they want their companies to protect them from what they call the mounting violence against rideshare workers they're also protesting the deactivation process this means how easy they say it is for their accounts their livelihood to be suspended at any given moment they're also protesting overall earning cuts Organizers for this protest say they hope to disrupt service to prove a point. Rideshare drivers need a little love too. We went from working 40 hour work weeks to now working 80 hours per week. We need safety. A lot of drivers are getting carjacked every single day. A lot of the drivers, they don't make uh, enough, uh, especially, I mean, these days, the rates are really low. People are struggling. Now, citing similar events in the past, both Uber and DoorDash say they don't expect rides and pricing to be significantly impacted by today's protest. The strike kicks off at 11 a.m. and should head out throughout the afternoon. For now, we're live at O'Hare. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.